hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing the much anticipated update on my Saint Laurent college bag if you haven't seen my Saint Laurent college bag needing repair video please pause this video go check that out first and then come back and watch this one so in today's video, I'm going to go over everything that's happened since I last talked about my Saint Laurent bag. Let's just get into it. So if you saw my previous video on my Saint Laurent college bag, then you know that that bag was in pretty bad shape. To be honest, I think that's an understatement. The bag was looking rough, okay? I don't think it was even acceptable to bring that thing out in public. And I was so sad about it because I really love the bag and I didn't want to even part with it for it to be repaired. I came to the decision that I need to send this in for repair. There's no way around it. The bag needs to be repaired. I went into the Saint Laurent boutique on July 13th. So that's almost three weeks ago now. I showed them the bag and told them I needed to send it out for repair. So the first thing we did was discuss their repair policy. And I received this document, Saint Laurent's repair policy. And I'm gonna review it with you guys. It says defective merchandise purchased at a St. Laurent boutique will be repaired at no charge to the client if the item is less than one year old. One year old. My bag was one year and one week old at the time of me dropping it off. Proof of purchase is required. Defective merchandise constitutes the need for replacement parts and has not been subject to extensive wear and tear. Oh, so again, is my bag like extensive wear and tear? The next piece, merchandise purchased at a St. Laurent boutique that is more than one year old, whether defective or shows sign of abuse, will be repaired at a cost to the customer per the attached price list. Proof of purchase is required. So this is saying if your bag is over a year old, which technically my bag was just a, a year old at the time, and it shows signs of abuse, like you were not taking care of your bag at all, it will definitely be repaired at a cost. Merchandise purchased at a St. Laurent boutique that shows signs of extensive use will be repaired at a cost to the customer regardless of age. So this is interesting. This is saying basically, if any item looks like it's been used or well used and needs repair, it's gonna automatically be repaired with a cost regardless of the age of the item. So I feel like this piece in the policy almost kind of gives St. Laurent the option to deem any item as being extensively used and charging a cost for repair. Because this is saying regardless of age, so meaning if you had a bag that was three months old and it's showing extensive wear, whether it's defective or you've been using it every day, it can be t deemed as extensive use, which will be repaired at a cost. So that clause in the policy, I kind of find to be a little vague because it, it really leaves anyone open to the possibility of having to get something repaired at a cost. And they determine whether the bag is being used extensively, show sign of excessive wear or abuse as they call it. So the last piece is any merchandise purchased outside the St. Laurent boutique that is in need of repair regardless of age or condition will be repaired at a cost to the customer per the attached price list. Now that's also another interesting piece. So that means if you bought your bag at Neiman Marcus, let's say, and you brought it into the St. Laurent Boutique for repair, no matter when you purchased it, because it says regardless of age or condition, you will automatically be charged. So that's something to keep in mind if you do need a repair. I always, if I have the option to shop within the designer boutique itself, that's where I prefer to shop. I do shop at department stores, but mostly for like shoes, small accessories, beauty products, clothing. But if I'm purchasing a handbag, I typically go to the designer boutique themselves. I feel like that that's just easy when it comes to these types of situations. You they already have your proof of purchase, you're in their system, they can track when your item was purchased and it kind of eliminates a lot of questions because it just eliminates a lot of stress, I think. So when you can purchase it directly from the brand's boutique. 
that's the Saint Laurent repair policy. I went over it in detail with you guys. So I was told by the sales associate because my bag was one year and one week old at the time of dropping it off for repair, I was told that it would be sent out to their repair site and they would evaluate my item and determine at that time if it would be repaired at a cost and if so, what the cost would be. So they told me that I should expect to get a phone call within a week or so of the of the bag being sent out. And that phone call is to kind of get my approval on the repair costs. So basically, they would have called me and said, Zara, your bag's going to be $150 to repair. Do you want us to do the repair? Yes or no. You would agree to the repair and then they would start working on it. And if you didn't agree, they would send it back to the store for you to pick up. So I waited and as each day kind of moved along, it doesn't look like I'm going to be having a cost for my repair. And I was so excited because if you guys saw in that original video, there was a lot of things needing to be repaired on that bag. It wasn't just one little thing. It, it was quite a bit. I ended up getting a call uh, this past week telling me that my bag was ready to be picked up and was back at the St. Laurent Boutique. So it took exactly, right, it took exactly under three weeks for the repair. I would say two and a half weeks of the bag being at the repair site. Now let's get into what my bag looks like now. So here's my bag in the St. Laurent shopping bag. Let's take it out. Have the bag all wrapped up. I haven't really looked at this closely. Uh, they showed, but of course they showed me the bag in the boutique, but we're gonna look at it thoroughly together now. Here is my Saint Laurent college bag back in my hands. So the first thing that I noticed that's definitely drastic is the YSL logo. As you saw, there was lots of chipping on the corners and I feel like they repainted the entire YSL. It's just kind of perfect, really. So I believe the entire, I believe the entire logo was painted over. And so the next major thing was this top handle. If you recall from my repair video, this top handle was pulling apart. It was very much, this was a really bad piece. So honestly, if you see that, there's almost like you can look, it's completely repaired. It almost looks like a new handle, honestly. The handle itself looks pretty perfect. So I believe this had to be maybe glazed again or something because the handle really does look great itself. It looks great. You can't tell there was anything really done to it. My chain was not really a concern, although I do feel like the chain itself, again, looks pretty shiny, almost as if it was polished or painted again as well. And just to reference the chain to the front so you can see the hardware. So the next piece was this leather piece on my strap. So this was also like threads were coming loose. Oh my goodness, this was terrible. This, this looks like it's been, this is all smoothed down. So like they did the glazing on this again, which is great. So guys, that's kind of up close view of my bag. I miss having my Saint Laurent bag, so I'm so excited to have it back. But I am very satisfied, very happy with the results of the repair. I think not only was everything done, like they didn't miss anything. Like I said, I even feel like on this logo piece, this is so shiny. It's almost like, not only, almost like they painted it, but also put like a sealant or protector or something over the hardware so I'm very interested to see how this will wear moving forward so when I went in today I actually met with the sales associate that sold me this bag and he confirmed he said even though you love this bag and you've been using it 
it shouldn't have worn that bad. And so he agreed that definitely needed repair and he was happy that I had brought it in when I did rather than let you know time pass. Who knows maybe if I had taken it in at a later date I wouldn't have had the cost of repair covered. And if you guys know these designer brands when you need repairs they can get quite expensive. I mean, you're already spending so much for the bag, but if you need something repaired on it and you want it repaired by the experts, by the brand itself, it can cost a lot. So it's a big relief to have the bag back and it was at no cost to me. All I had to do was drop it off in store and I was without it for a few weeks. But now I have it back and it's almost just like new. My leather feels so good and smushy. So I definitely will be back to wearing this bag. I would say this bag is my favorite everyday bag. It's just so effortless. It's so fun. And I really feel like it speaks to my aesthetic. Okay, guys, I hope I covered everything for you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, guys.